Hey friends, hope you all are doing well. And today I am bringing to you another cooking hack and it's gonna be my Jiffy corn muffin. Yes, guys, you know I always gotta put a twist on it. And if you love my Jiffy cornbread recipe, which I think you should check out by the way, you would definitely like this Jiffy corn muffin mix. You can already see on your screen, it's looking beautiful. So if you would like to see how I put my twist on that Jiffy corn muffin mix and turn it into something that would taste just like homemade, you definitely wanna keep on watching. My name is Manser and you're welcome to my kitchen. So these are the instructions on the Jiffy corn muffin mix and today we're going to be using two boxes by the way. So it tells you that for each box you need um, one pack of the muffin, one egg and one third cup of milk. Okay, that's what the regular instructions say but we are not following that. So this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to add one egg to add and bump up all of that richness going on. So one extra egg making it three. And also you can substitute the milk with some buttermilk to get a more, you know, some more of that homemade texture and taste. But feel free to use homemade milk if that is what you have. But I'm telling you buttermilk makes all the difference. The next thing we're gonna do, I am gonna be adding one can of cream style sweet corn you can also use the whole kernel corn one can of that but make sure that you drain it out do not add the liquid to that but for the cream style we're adding the whole can of it it's going to make a lot of difference and i'm also going to be adding one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract vanilla is great in all baking recipes it just complements all of the other flavors another thing we're going to be adding is some butter this is my pure Kerrygold butter and I'm adding seven tablespoons of butter so literally you're taking one stick of butter which is eight tablespoons and just use seven tablespoons keep the other tablespoon on the side and we are gonna also gonna use some honey this honey we're gonna use it as a glaze together with the other tablespoon of butter these are our ingredients so let's get started here is my muffin pan and this makes 12 muffins and i'm gonna go ahead and lightly brush it around with some butter so that it would not stick you can also line them with some baking cups yes that works well too so in a mixing bowl i'm gonna pour out two boxes of my jiffy mix and you guys it's always stuck to the bottom i don't know why is that a design <laughs> anyway you can see that it is very lumpy so i'm just going in gently with my whisk to break up um, a lot of the big lumps just like that and then i put that on the side and then i'm gonna beat my three eggs together um you can just decide to pour everything into your dry ingredients but i prefer to beat the eggs separately first and then mix it with the other ingredients. A list of all the ingredients will be um, in the description box below. Please feel free to check them out. It has all the measurements and everything you would need. And here is my cream corn that I'm gonna be using today in our recipe. And this is what it looks like. And we're adding everything with it, the liquid and all. It's gonna make it really moist and delicious. And it's also sweet. So into my bowl goes my whisked eggs, my melted butter, and make sure it's a room temperature. Here comes in my buttermilk. Mm -hmm. It is so necessary, guys. And then just putting a light elbow grease in there and whisk all of their dry and wet ingredients to get them incorporated. If you are a first timer on this channel, please feel free. You are highly welcome. And I hope you consider subscribing to my returning subscribers. You guys already know I love you. All right, now I'm gonna add in my cream corn. And like I said, you can use the whole kernel of corn drained first. Then comes in my one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Yes, I prefer this to the imitation vanilla And at this point, all you're trying to do is just incorporate the 
ingredient so you don't need to beat it too much just get it mixed you know and then once all of that is done just set it aside and i have already gone ahead and preheated my oven now i just used the box instructions which is 400 degrees for muffins because you know they are smaller so they tend to cook faster so i am just using um just a scooper really and just put in my batter into the muffin cups now i filled some of them a little too much so just make sure you don't fill it all the way to the top so that when it rises it's not going to spill over i had a few that spilled over but they were delicious anyway so pop it drop it release all the air bubbles and we are ready to put this in our oven now with this um amount of batter that i made i had left over so this probably can make up to 14 muffin cups so i'm just gonna put my leftover in that casserole dish and bake everything into the oven also i always always bake my goods on the middle rack right there to get an even distribution of the heat and while that is going on, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my glaze. This is the one tablespoon of butter that we cut, cut out from the one stick of butter. And to that, I am adding just one teaspoon of honey. I melted the butter and it's okay if it's warm. It's going to help that um, honey dissolve and loosen up a little. So yeah, one tablespoon of butter to one teaspoon of honey mix that up you can even whip it and make it more fluffy but this was good enough for me once all of that is done set it aside because we're going to use it very soon and here is a muffins they are all done make sure you insert a toothpick when it comes out clean then it is done but since we tweaked this recipe you might need to cook it a little longer than the box instructions and when the um, toothpick comes out clean then it is definitely done what you want to get is a beautiful light golden brown color just like you see on your screen right now guys the vanilla and the cream corn i can smell all of it at the same time and that butter made all the difference you got to try this you got to try this especially if you like the cornbread recipe you would definitely like this so while it is still piping hot fresh out of the oven you want to go ahead and give it a good brush of that glaze because this is going to let all that butter and honey seep into our fresh muffins and it's going to make all the difference yes guys if you want to cut down on the sugar you maybe want to you might want to cut down on the honey and then just do the butter that also works for me so give it a good glaze you know and you, yeah this is what it looks like after we glazed it and i'm just gonna let it sit a little cool down a little bit before i handle it if i try to take it out of the the baking tray so that it would not get messed up and once it cools down you are ready to get into it and i'm gonna have a beautiful display because the kids love it when i whip it out like that and i'll tell you they really really had a good time with the muffins especially when they bit into it and saw that it had actual corn it was it was a dream come true this is what it looks like y'all you can see the little bits of corn sticking in there a crust i, I need not say more it is golden brown beautiful and the edges are quite crispy you can tell how moist it is i don't even need to say too much thank you guys again for watching up until this point if you enjoyed this video please give your girl a thumbs up i would appreciate it feel free to share with your friends and family and until i catch you in my next one stay safe i love you all also feel free to check out my second channel for home organization and DIY. Bye y'all.